I think there's lots of complexity to, to any character and it's good to build that in. But I, I see him as a as a kind of quiet and um, and and someone who can, who can pick up on a lot without having to say much. And um, he certainly sees the weaknesses in his parents. And um, but I I don't think uh, he sees them as negative people, but he sees them as you know people he loves that have uh, have issues, and and he can see where they come from as well. Most of them have occurred on the football field, which tends to be where I get any of my aggression out, and um, and it's usually. In fact, all the times it's happened, it hasn't been against people my own age. It's uh, it's been uh, against fully grown men up against uh, twenty year olds on a football pitch, and I've just had a few where they've they've felt the need to to kind of put me in my place, as they say it, and and um, and kind of show who, who's boss these big blokes. And um, it's always funny when it happens because they're very intense in the moment. They look like you, they want to rip your head off, and then. Uh, the moment you're off the field, they're pretty nice guys. So I guess they're just channel channeling their uh, their energy in the same way I am. Any um, incidents of um, bullying that you either saw or experienced, either personally or against other people, say while you're at school? I don't know. I think um, I think bullying is is a really complex thing sometimes too, because it's not always recognisable when you're in that situation. And, um, you know, the most obvious examples are in primary school where everything is on the surface. And, uh, and that, that was when one of my friends was being bullied by uh, some older kids just because he was a little bit larger than them. So um, apart from that, in high school, it's really hard to tell because everyone's having a go at each other. I mean, everyone's testing each other. You're at that kind of age. Um, and you're all stuck with each other for so long. Um, so no real experiences, but there is always that fear that whenever you're kind of teasing a mate or, you know, having a bit of a laugh, that it could go too far. I suppose a lot of it comes down to circumstance and luck. I mean, I was born in the inner west of Sydney, which is not exactly a, a, a typically violent place. And there are, there are fringes of it that exist there, but I, I mean, I haven't been in those situations mainly because I don't need to be. Uh, it's, it's not part of the world that I've been brought into and I'm extremely lucky because of it, really.